Hey guys, Varun Marathi here and in this video I am going to show you all the changes that the One UI 2.0 beta has brought on Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and Note 10 Plus. So this is actually based on the Android 10. So this will be the update that we'll be receiving in the future. Now as you can see this update is there on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus over here. And there are not many changes, there are more or less aesthetic changes over here and we'll start with them one by one right now. So the very first thing that you will notice uh, is the change in the accent and the uh, styles which are there of this icon because as you can see the color over there is a little bit different than before and even when we drop down another change that we have over here is they have removed the button grid. Uh, which was there before so now you can't change the grid which is there it, it will be 4x4 four four only uh, I would say they have taken away some uh, thing in that way but uh, it's okay we can't complain this is not the final build and we also have the Android Auto this time built in another change that we have is when we go in the display settings over here and we move down uh, is the gesture navigation because now when we go in the navigation bar over here we have two options where uh, there are the traditional samsung gestures which were there before and now we have the android 10 10 best gesture which is a single swipe from the bottom and in order to get back we have to swipe from the side so as you can see over there there is a very nice and clean animation on the right where it shows that you are uh, going back now the only problem in this is when you are typing we have to swipe from a higher location which is not there on the keyboard and samsung themselves have many swipe gestures so it coincides with it so it definitely takes some use to and the single swipe up from the bottom will actually uh, get you to the home and when you hold it you will get to the uh, multiple apps that are open in the background but the problem is in the beta version it's not opening properly uh, another changes are we have more edge lighting this time around but this you also get on the edge lighting plus which is there from the good lock app but these are the official edge lighting features over here as you can see the uh, back feature and gesture works really nice and we also have a new font uh, this is the samsung one font i guess it is replacing the samsung sand font which was there so it is there in the uh, font style by default and it looks cleaner it looks sharper so i have set the phone on it already and uh, going back as you can see there are no more changes in the display settings uh, we, when we go in the wallpaper setting now we have very separate options for them now and they look really clean this is an ios style uh, wallpaper changing i guess but uh, it looks much cleaner now and we have the separate options of wallpaper to choose either from gallery or from the uh, galaxy store as well now going in the biometric settings over here this time we can set additional face uh, for the face and lock so this uh, this feature is actually there in order to have a, a separate look if we have any but we this can also be used in order to set a second face so that you can unlock the device if two people are using the phone though this is a really good feature that is coming with the android 10 uh, now the digital well-being is also included over here it was there in the one ui 1.5 as well but now there are a few aesthetic changes to it as you can see it looks up to date with the stock android which is there and uh, definitely i think samsung is working towards bringing their operating system much closer to the stock android it looks really good and we also have the focus mode wherein uh, we can set in uh, the phone to go in a lock mode completely during that time which is really good even the device management has been renamed to device care and even it has seen some aesthetic changes over here and as you can see the battery usage is showing really nice because it shows uh, at what time to what time you are charging the device and what time you are using the device so this is a really nice and different look definitely bringing the galaxy phones up to date to the stock android level uh, another changes that we have over here is uh, it's, it's, it's more or less we see that the settings have changed they are grouped more properly this time around and uh, when we take a look at uh, the icons also the stock icons they look little bit better 
and the folders which are there right now they take up the entire screen and the title of the folder goes in the top half of the interaction portion so they look really good even in the menus we go and we open the folder they look the same so i think this is a much more cleaner and uh, a really good look which is there throughout the ui which is actually embracing the one ui's basic function of utilizing the screen in a proper way also now we have this very nice animation when we open any application so as you can see over here it opens very quickly but we have this very very cool animation which looks faster and gives an effect that it is very swift and cool which is also present in the android 10 stock version so this looks really good and the ui overall feels very very fast we also have the dark mode over here but for the sake of the video i'm not going in there but uh, additional feature in the dark mode is in the developer options we have a function to actually force dark mode on the apps which do not use it so it actually turns even facebook into a darker mode uh, but it has some problems right now and this is finally the major changes that we have is in the camera application over here the fonts have changed they are now all capitals as you can see over here and they have added additional options to it which is there in the more settings so we don't have each and every function in the camera which was there right on the bottom uh, you can choose to drag and drop the options which are there and uh, more or less even the top side which contains an additional settings even the font of that is changed so the styling is changed of the camera interface uh, i would say it's not much big of a deal uh, but uh, it, it definitely looks good and when we go in the live focus mode now uh, the the filters are at different location and let's take a look at the settings so here we have one additional feature is when we go in the advanced setting we have the hdr 10 plus video recording option but it will be activated if you have the samsung labs app over there it is really good and we also have an additional option of uh, correcting the ultra wide distortions which is there in the setting so it looks really good and as you can see now the the features which are there in live focus are actually shifted to a small icon which is there on the right i don't know how much good it is because it is an additional step but uh, definitely i think uh, it, it's something they are working on so this is actually the first beta and again as you can see the swipe up gesture from the down it is a little bit problematic but it does bring this swift changing of applications in the background it is really really good samsung did not have this before but uh, yeah guys this is overall the first beta official beta of uh, android 10 on samsung galaxy note 10 plus this is launched in india and i guess it is rolling out to other countries as well so these are the changes more or less we have uh, aesthetic changes where when we change the volume and all we have minimalistic uh, interaction which is there on the top even when we receive notifications and messages now the top portion which it used to occupy was much bigger before and now they have reduced it so that uh, we can interact we have the we can interact with the existing content that we are watching while we are we were disturbing we were getting disturbed by the notification all in all this is a really good update i would say not many changes and i will get you more uh, when the next beta arises so yeah guys this was the video if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video peace